wanted to do a comparison for you of the Rebecca Minkoff bags. So I've got the Rebecca Minkoff Silver Mini Mac bag here. And this is the Rebecca Minkoff Small Love Bag in Coral with the Chevron Quilted Hardware. So I'll show you a little side by side of them. As you can see, the Mini Mac is a much longer bag. Widthwise, they're probably about the same. The love bag is a little bit more structure to it, so the flap probably takes up most of the space, whereas on the Mini Mac bag it's all interior. They are very cute bags. The Mini Mac is just a little bit uh, taller than the small love bag as well. I'll show you what they both look like when worn. This is what the Rebecca Minkoff small love bag and the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac bag look like when they're worn side by side. So you can see the differences in the strap length. I've adjusted the small love bag so it's a shorter length. It sits higher on my hip than the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac bag. You can wear them both crossbody. As you can see, this is a perfect length for me, a really nice length. And this is the Mini Mac bag when it's worn crossbody too. Again, a nice length. Um, it's not a bad length on me, I just prefer it sitting a little bit higher like the small love bag does. While they are similar size bags, the Mini Mac is a lot larger and the main difference is that in the Mini Mac I can fit my wallet inside. So it's very easy to pop my wallet inside the Mini Mac, which means I wear this bag a lot. If I'm at work one day I can easily use a mini mac when I'm out with the boys the next day because I can just simply take my wallet out of my main bag and stick it in here. Perfect size for that. So the wallet that I have is actually bigger than the love bag so it does not fit inside. So I have to keep it here in the mini mac. So in the small love bag what I usually carry in this back pocket here is my phone. I find that also fits really well inside the mini mac. And then inside the small love bag, I actually make use of the pockets that are here as well. So I've got my glasses, which won't fit in the Mini Mac when I've got my wallet in there. Um, you can see that using the pockets here, I've got cards in here, money in here. So I can take the things out of my wallet and put them inside this bag. I also have a lot more space. So my pop I'll usually pop that in the Mini Mac. Uh, my car keys, I'll usually pop them in the Mini Mac too. But that's the Mini Mac pretty much stuffed full. I can't really fit anything else in there. Whereas in the love bag, because I've not got my wallet in there, I can also fit extra things, something as small as a lipstick or something a bit bigger like a hand cream. So in terms of ease of use, it's probably the Mini Mac that I reach for more just because when I am swapping out my bags, I like just being able to pick up my wallet from one bag and put my wallet into another bag. I don't can't do that with a love bag. I need to be a little bit more intentional. Where am I going? What am I doing? What cards do I need? Do I need money? All that kind of stuff. The Mini Mac does get worn a lot more, but the small love bag is so cute. I do not regret buying this bag at all. It's adorable. It was a really good purchase and I do love it even if it's rarely used. So as you saw in the video, the straps are very different. It's the chain strap on the Mini Mac, which you can take off. It's easy to remove, very simple, um, so you can swap it out. You've got the chain strap on the love bag, but also on this leather portion it is adjustable, which is really nice, very petite friendly. But you cannot remove the chain from the small love bag, it's attached onto the bag. So that is one main difference with the straps on the bags. Um, I usually wear them both crossbody and I find the lengths are great, but I do like with the small love bag because I'm so short that I can adjust it to get a more perfect length for me. You can double over the Mini Mac chain. You just take it out like this and clip it in. But I find that when I do that, because it's such an unstructured bag, it kind of sort of pulls on the leather a bit and makes the opening a bit harder to get into. So I tend to just leave the Mini Mac strap at the longer length. It's still a good length, it's perfect for wearing crossbody for me. So that was my comparison of the Rebecca Minkoff Love Bag and the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac Bag. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If there's anything that I haven't covered or any questions you have, you can just leave them down in a comment below. If you did like this video, you can give it a big thumbs up, you can hit the red subscribe button, and thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.